Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are here finally for a makeup review. It's been a while, I know there's been a lot of decluttering going on, a lot of setting up the new year. I am glad you guys enjoyed the intro to my low buy as well as uh, my decluttering series and um, yeah, it's time to just get back into normal. Um, but yes, it's just time to get back into normal content and today we are going to be talking about We Makeup eyeshadows. Now this is the palette that I have and I have used it now since Black Friday. I have a good idea of uh, how these perform and my thoughts about them as well as I actually have uh, heard and listened to all of you guys' input as well. Um, there are a few things that, for example, were brought to my attention and then when I was uh, wearing the eyeshadows myself I was like, yeah, actually that is totally true. Now let's start. We Makeup is a young and new Italian makeup brand. They are independent and they ship all over Europe. So I had my packages shipped to me here in the Netherlands from Italy. They started with liquid lipsticks and now they brought recently out, I think last summer, a whole line of uh, single eyeshadows. And of course, as you know me, I cannot resist when there's single eyeshadows involved. So I placed an order with Black Friday and they have different options. Their eyeshadows are available for purchase uh, individually or in uh, pre-formed palettes that uh, they have curated and these go for 34 euros for a price and often on discount also now when I'm recording for 24 euros for nine eyeshadows and these have different themes and they are just arranged by their creative directors or whoever does their palettes. Otherwise, you can customize your own palette and uh, a nine eyeshadow palette that is personalized for you that is uh, 39 euros full price and 29 on sale. Instead, if you want a larger eyeshadow pan, a larger eyeshadow palette, you can um, personalize a 15 eyeshadow palette and that is for 49 euros full price or 39 um, in uh, sale. And then you have their Pro palette, which contains all of their eyeshadows and it's uh, 56 colors in four different uh, textures. And that retails for 150 euros full price or 130 on sale. I purchased a personalized 15 eyeshadow palette and it, come, it came uh, in this uh, nice palette that was empty and then all the eyeshadows were individually um, packaged. They came in a box and then inside the box there was this beautiful packaging that is uh, their brand and um, some of their, uh, some of their, yeah, um, text. And it actually states that uh, they started as 50 years ago as a, a tiny cosmetic lab developing formulations for renowned brands and since 2016 they have uh, started their own uh, brand for sale. So they were formulators and now they have a brand for sale. Um, the box is slides out and opens up like this. I saved it to show you because I thought the packaging was really nice. It came with little paper to secure the eyeshadows and each eyeshadow came in its own little rectangular sleeve with the name and color of the eyeshadow on the back. I'll insert a photo because I don't have those anymore. And each eyeshadow looks like this. It is a small pan. It is smaller than a 26 millimeter eyeshadow pan, as you can see, as well as there is less product in here. A typical 26 pan contains one and a half to two grams of product, let's say. This one is from Makeup Geek, contains 1.8 grams of uh, product, whereas the We Makeup eyeshadow pans contain 1.2 grams of product. One of the first criticisms I have is that there is no indication of what this eyeshadow pan contains, what number it is, there is no name of the eyeshadow. I have personally written the name in the back with a sharpie once I took it out of the sleeve because I wanted to know what eyeshadows I was working with for my blog but also just simply to know when people asked me what eyeshadows I had and what I was using. So um, that is one of the drawbacks I find because it would be very 
I don't know if it would be easy, but it would be very helpful if behind the shadows there would be a little sticker with the number of it. Another thing, all eyeshadows have numbers and they have a different um, classes of eyeshadows. They have 33 matte eyeshadows, 7 shimmer, 11 metallic and 5 duochrome eyeshadows. I am reading off of their website. And uh, the matte eyeshadows come with a one number to start with, so all the matte eyeshadows are in hundreds. Uh, 109, 101, 102, and so on. Then the shimmers are in the 200, so we have 200, 201, 2, 3, 4, 5. Their 3D metal finish has the 300 numbers, and then their duochromes have a 400 number. So this one here, which is a um, nice duochrome with a, a teal sparkle, is a number 404. These eyeshadows fit nicely and snugly into their palettes and it is very easy to just plop them in there. Sorry, doing it backwards is a bit harder, but the palette is magnetic in itself. And on the back of the palette, I hope you can see all the tiny holes and you can just insert a pin to push the eyeshadow out. I think this design is very smart. The palette in itself feel really, really good. It's really sturdy. The magnetic uh, uh, opening of the palette itself is quite strong and hard. And the mirror, now I'm gonna blind you, is really nice and big. It's big, it's a sturdy mirror. It doesn't, this palette does not bend in any way. You can uh, fold it uh, backwards and there's not gonna be any breakage. So overall, this uh, packaging is done really, really well. I'm really impressed. Now, uh, with these eyeshadows, I actually created this look today and I filmed it for you guys. Um, so let me first go through a little bit of my um, review and my thoughts on this and then we will get into the eyeshadow look that will actually demonstrate what I'm gonna say. So first of all, uh, the good. The metallic eyeshadows and the duochromes are amazing. They are a really really good formula. You do not need any fix plus. You don't need to wet your brush. You don't need to use your fingers. You just need a dry brush and they apply beautifully. They are um, quite um, dense and let's say creamy for a formula and uh, uh, there is no fallout whatsoever. So they actually do feel more a bit more like a cream they, they are not like the Colourpop Super Shock shadows where it, it's really creamy and liquidy in the feeling of on when you swipe on your fingers on it. I don't know how to explain it, but these perform really well with a dry brush and they are really metallic and uh, very, yeah, they're in your face. In my palette, I have one and two duochromes, one shimmer here in the middle and three metallics. The shimmer also works well, it just ha doesn't have that metallic impact. However, it is still a very, very valid uh, formulation. Now, I have hooded eyes, I've said it infinite times. My eyeshadows, my favorite eyeshadows and what my heart beats for are the mattes. Colorful mattes are very important to me because that is when I have my eyes open, that is the color you see. If I close my eyes, you'll see what I have on my lids, so the shimmers, but otherwise you will only see what I have in my crease. So I bought a lot of matte eyeshadows and uh, one row of neutrals because um, it works very well with anything that you want to do and one row of colorful uh, mattes. Now, uh, first of all, uh, color, the color choices are really good. You have a little bit of everything for everybody, a lot of uh, variety and they're continuously adding new shades. So I think that is very, very good. And uh, it's definitely something that keeps up the interest in the brand. And I love the fact that you can customize your own palette. As you can see here, this is kind of my per palette that I would use uh, uh, all, all the whole year, every day. You can use it for anything. Um, I personally chose to have a few matte neutrals and uh, all the color and pops of colors that I love. The matte neutrals are um, in principle good. They are blendable, they do not uh, create patches or uh, stains. However, they tend to blend into each other and blend out into nothing. So you apply the product, you start blending and they go into nothing. That is a little bit uh, uh, something that I 
don't like and it's the fact that for for example if I put uh, these two in the crease I will first of all it will look like one shade and uh, then uh, during the day it will also muddy up and it will all look just not good and not um, a nice gradient as I would like it to be from dark to light. I use this cream color to set my primer, it works really well, nothing to say about that. And uh, the dark brown, I have to say, is a, a good dark brown, it's intense and pigmented, but you cannot blend these too much, otherwise they will disappear or um, actually just go away from the place you apply them. So there is no apply and then blend uh, the edges uh, to form a gradient. You really need to apply and keep the product there. So very, very gently on the side of the, um, of the area you want the color in. That is not personally the way I apply makeup and I will show you in uh, the little tutorial that I did after this review. Same situation I have with the colorful mattes. First of all, the blue, uh, I think this is number 140, this is the worst one of the bunch. I have it on today because I wanted to show you how patchy this is. You apply it, pack it on, it looks good, you start blending, it goes away, it goes into nothing, becomes a messy mud. Uh, same situation with this uh, greenish brown here. Unfortunately, this one also didn't work out. Uh, you apply it in the crease, at least for me, and it just ends up being a muddy mess. Um, and the same for this shade here. What is the difference in at least these three uh, yellow, orange and, uh, and berry shade is that they don't become patchy, they just disappear. So I have today the yellow and the orange in my crease and I think it's quite clear that there's mainly an orange. Uh, it would be the same effect if I would just use one orange and uh, blend it out on the edges. So I don't like how they interact with each other and how they blend. It feels as if they're too much filler. The ingredients list of these eyeshadows is the same as the ingredients in my Nabla Feather Matte, the new eyeshadows that were released in 2018. So uh, I have a few in here. Um, and this was brought to me uh, by one of you guys actually. And uh, they feel nothing, nothing alike. They don't apply the same, they don't feel the, way, the same way under the fingers. There is nothing in common. And this is another proof that you may have the same ingredients, but the way you put them together, the ratios and the pressing and everything has a lot of uh, importance when formulating eyeshadows. So even though they have the same uh, ingredients, they are nothing alike. The longevity of these eyeshadows is also not great. I'm talking about the mattes again. Um, by the end of the day, they will just look like all of one color mixed together, unfortunately. So personally, I cannot recommend um, the mattes as a <laughs> something you should buy, even though the colors are enticing. I saw they put up a new green. Um, they're not worth your money or time or space in your collection now that we're all decluttering, actually. I do think the uh, shimmers are really good and actually if I would ever repurchase from We Makeup, I would make one Nine eyeshadow uh, palette just with uh, their shimmers. Their shimmers are really really good and um, let me show you a few swatches of them. The green and the blue and they are just very beautiful, very um, out there and pigmented. And you will see shortly in the tutorial how I apply these and how nice and shimmery they are on my eyes. Uh, you can see that already. On my blog and on my Instagram, I will be posting the swatches with the numbers of each eyeshadow. I think doing it here will just take a lot of time and not really be very useful. Uh, so there will be the link to that in the description box where you can find the numbers with the swatches if you want to see how the colors look. But now um, I would like to get into the tutorial to uh, recreate this look that I have on today. I have my primer on and I'm uh, starting with the first shade right here and setting all of my eye space. This way the primer is set and the products should blend nice and easy. Then I'm going in with this yellow shade and applying it into the crease. As you can see 
the product is pigmented you can definitely see it when it's uh, applying and as you blend it it kind of blends away and you lose intensity you can go in and apply more but it tends to blend into nothing and that is a little bit with all these mattes not only the colorful mattes but also the more uh, neutrals up here i'm going in with the orange shade in the crease and blending it a little bit upwards and you'll see how um, the yellow and the orange will blend together into one shade <laughs> that then will just be a different orange um, in principle in theory uh, this works well however to me now I have no yellow anymore on my eyes so I have to go back in and add a little bit with the brush I had but then we're getting the um, blending here very high up and you can see it actually better even in camera that you kind of lose color and definition here however this can be a good blend it's not my preferred way of working but this I wouldn't complain about now let's go into the blue uh, this teal here uh, this is one of the shades that I bought these shadows for because they seem like they had such great great colorful shades as you can see I am packing and you can get quite nice pigmentation the moment you go to blend it starts to get patchy it starts to lose intensity and to me it looks like um, here you see how I lost all pigmentation in that corner it seems to me like there's a bit too much talc or um, filler in these eyeshadows um, because what you want is pigment to stick and sometimes you need filler to make it glide better and blend better however this is a typical situation in which it doesn't stick and it doesn't stay and it just washes away so what I'm gonna do is tap a little bit more on and hope that it will stay and this can also uh, boil down to the type of uh, makeup that you do however blending is always important so I'm gonna go in with another really really light touch and another brush uh, to blend this edge a little bit hoping not to make too much of a mess but you can yeah you can see here this is not a good blend and um, yes greens and blues are difficult to make but I have a ton of greens and blues that don't do this now for the fun and nice part I'm going to go in with this blue and this green on my lid starting with the green on the outer side in the middle on the outside of the lash a uh, lid sorry and as you can see this is a dry brush just uh, picking it up and applying it these feel very silicone or very creamy and uh, they don't need much to be honest they really just need a, a dry brush you apply pick it up apply it and uh, uh, it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous there is no fallout whatsoever let me show you let me show you with the blue I pick it up and apply it They apply beautifully and they blend really well into each other. I have to say these, uh, the, the shimmers I am really happy with. I'm applying a little bit of pencil just on the lash line. This is from Kiko. And then uh, another Kiko pencil in my lower lash line. And this is a plum shade. because then I'm going in with this matte plum onto my lower lash line and this one behaves similarly uh, to the orange and the yellow in the sense that it will apply nicely but if you blend it on a, on a bigger area it will just blend into nothingness then I'm taking the plum sh shimmer shade and just applying it on my inner lash line 
And with a pencil brush, I'm taking this shade, which is a duochrome, and applying it in my inner corner. It's not my favorite inner corner because it's not very bright, but for this look, which is really colorful, this has a little bit of a green uh, flip to it with a gold base, um, and it looks very cool, I think. I'm gonna put mascara, and here we have the finished look. I would like you to see again how little blending this blue can take on both sides um, and how beautiful the shimmers are i really really love it the shimmers are really really good um, the blending of the uh, orange and yellow well, i have some mascara here um, works well but it blends into one color and uh, yeah that is not ideal i would say at least in my book it's not ideal you can also see, I hope, um, that there is a little bit of fallout here, but it's nothing dramatic. I wouldn't, um, I don't think it's a problem with these uh, more dark and colorful shades. I would anyways usually do my eyes first and uh, in this case just try to dust it off. And if that doesn't work, just go over it with my sponge. So that was the eye look for you guys. As you have seen, not amazing. Uh, I would definitely, again, not recommend the mattes. I hope this uh, uh, review was helpful for you. I don't want to bash per definition. I think it's a, a great idea. I think the packaging is amazing. The matte metallics are amazing. Um, the idea of being able to create your own palette on their website, seeing it in, a, in the palette, I think it's great. Their shipping was very fast. Their um, Customer service is quick to reply. I had a few questions on discount codes that they have um, that were not valid anymore or not in Europe. They were really nice, polite and uh, uh, willing to help. They also have a pro um, program so you can get uh, I think 30 or 40 percent discount if you are a registered or certified makeup artist and uh, yeah overall I just would not buy any of the mats. Save your money buy yourself some makeup geek or color pop uh, i find those are much much better quality and on the other hand uh, i might get myself a few more metallics in the future but not so near future <laughs> i hope this was helpful please let me know down below your experience with these eyeshadows i know there's a uh, infinite a myriad amount of experiences out there some people love them some people um don't talk about it so they don't want to hate them i guess um i just wanted to be uh, useful for you guys and uh, have a conversation down in the comments if you uh, like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye guys